Yo, people, welcome to Bench View Sport TV Pod. I'm Ty. I'm JT. I'm Chris. Obviously, it's just going to be three brothers talking football, doing us, being raw, just for you guys at YouTube. It's so obviously now it's the weekend, it's Sunday. Games have happened. We're about to talk about the top four race. Man City losing to Leeds. Do they need a striker or not? And we're going to talk about Jess, Jesse Lingard and whether or not he should stay at West Ham or go back to Man United and his chances with the England squad at the Euros. So, we'll start with Jesse Lingard, isn't it? Because Man United and West Ham played today, scored two goals. He's doing his thing, he's hot. What's your take on it, Chris? I see Jesse, yeah. I feel like he's got to stay at West Ham. Like there's no, it's not there's no way he come up to United. But when you look at the landscape of United, I don't think there's space for him anymore. I feel like Bruno, you've got Bruno, you've got Pogba that can play that camp position. You've got the likes of Hanuman with Jibri in the academy as well. Like There's not space for Jesse. And I think it helped him and his career better at West Ham because he's a big fish in a small pond. So it's like, it's better for him to be there where, you know what, people look to him as that like, captain and that figure of, the growing guy, the guy who's played at the Europa, won things. It's just better for him to be there. Like, and you never know like what could happen from there. Because like, obviously, he got the England call-up from playing at West Ham. So if that could happen, imagine like next World Cup, which is next year, he could be in the squad of just the back of playing at West Ham. Yeah, that's facts. I come to you because you're a Man United fan, innit? So I come to you first and discuss with you first. Yeah. Obviously, I think, Jay, you were saying about it might be the best loan signing you've ever seen. In but, Prem history, so what? <laughs> I, wouldn't say, me, I wouldn't say Prem history, but I would say it's definitely up there. The impact he's had at West Ham, he's come in, been scoring goals, settled in. He's had no pre-season whatsoever, mid-season signing. Like everyone's talking about Odegaard coming in at Arsenal and that being a good loan signing. But Lingard, his form has clearly uh, overtook what Odegaard has done. And he's looking at home at West Ham. David Moyes is seeming to get the best out of him. He's playing in a free roll sort of thing, so he's got a lot more responsibility, but a lot more freedom at the same time. At Man United, you had Bruno in his way in that position. So he's doing really well at the moment. Like it's nine games in, he's got eight goals, three assists. Yeah. He's got into the England squad, which was something we'd be making jokes about at the start of last season. Like Jesse Lingard going to the Euros, like nobody would have thought that at all. So yeah, he's really put himself out there. And he's really hit form at the right time. All right, cool. So you man are both basically saying that the same point of he's not going to be able to fit back into the team when they got Bruno there. Obviously, Bruno's done been doing his thing, 16 goals in the league this season. Oh, he's, he's, I know you're main netting there, but hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Bruno's not all that, you know? So whoa, what are you trying whoa, to say whoa. that, Jesse? <laughs> so, so, I mean, like, why go for Liverpool though? Like, bro, Jesse, these men are begging and listen. crying for a camp. <laughs> <laughs> but if Klopp could get him, I guarantee you Klopp would kidnap him. We don't midnight. need him. We don't need him. What? We don't need him. Bro, after the performance, I'm sorry, we food from you, bro. bro. We, got, we got Thiago, we're nice. Thiago, that we're came nice. off the face. We're nice. Bro, I right, cool. My, he, got, he got his tactics wrong that game. We're going to bounce back. The just we'll that see. game. We're going to bounce back. <laughs> so the <seven> two, <laughs> like, we're going to bounce back. You know what I'm saying? Chance going to come with the goods again. Anyway, <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that do you feel, though, that like Jesse should make that move permanent to West Ham? Do you really think that in the future that, that he's going to, it's going to make, help him progress throughout his career, playing career? And do you think that where, uh, Man United are even going to let him go for a, a fair amount of, pri um, of the price feel, that, you know what I'm saying, the, yeah. that West Ham can really afford. Because West Ham, yeah, they're the mid midway-ish like, type yeah. club, but have they got the funds for the likes of a Jesse Lingard who's popping right now and he could be costing a good up upwards of 50 million? But that's why I me? think Declan comes in because I feel like with Lingard, it's more of an achievement to get West Ham to the Champions League or the Europa than it is to get Man United. Though. Yeah, but uh, hear that, yeah. But let me tell you this now. I read something earlier saying that West Ham has said to Man United, forget any deal that's going to involve Jesse Lingard for Declan Rice. West Ham are not trying to let him go. It's their prized possession right now. Let you get, get to dead, Let it get to deadline then. I you guarantee you their owner is crying on the phone that they need Lingard. What are you saying? You reckon that Declan Rice is going to be, would be a good fit for Man United though? I think Declan Rice would be a good fit. For Man United, like I think he's got the potential to play there. 
He's a very good midfielder. He's had a very good season. I think he'll link well with Pogba. Maybe he could be the one to come into the midfield and get more out of Pogba. But Pogba was very good today. So it's one of the ones where Pogba's a class player. Everyone's been trying to work around Pogba and build around Pogba. But Declan Rice really want to go and have a backup role and not be the main man at Man United. That's my point. Honestly, they got McTominay in that role already. Mm. And McTominay is nice. Don't get me wrong, he ain't Declan. Declan's that guy in, it, in the, the utility midfield. Player, but who? It's the, utility, it's the utility of Declan Rice. Because Declan Rice can play the CDM. He can, yeah, and he can yeah. play as in a centre back. So you never know. That could nah, be a but potential he, he role wouldn't, for him he wouldn't, They wouldn't buy him to play centre back. Isn't it? It's either he's playing centre uh, in, in the hole, in the four, or he's playing in the eight box to box. Because Declan can go forward, isn't it? I'm saying oh, Declan's nice about. with it, isn't it? So for them, they're not buying him for a centre back, isn't it? And then, let's yeah. be honest. West Ham are, are talking about excess of 100 million for a man like Declan Rice. No, nah, wait, no. Nah. Don't do that. Don't, this, oh, they can't do that. West Ham are, are going to want the whole form for Declan Rice. If we couldn't get Sancho for like eight, 90 mil, yeah, like we're definitely not getting it for 100. I guarantee somewhere, somewhere, yeah, we're going to find a way to get him for cheaper than that. How? 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 It's got to be Lingard and 60 mil and that's about it. If not less than 60 mil and Lingard. You saying you reckon that's worth it though? I don't think West Ham would accept that. If they get in, into the Champions League, they're not going to do the stupid thing, which would be sell your best player, I your captain. How far are they going to go in the Champions League? Because remember, that's, that's, if that's, they get like fourth, I swear they have to go through the whole playoff thing. Yeah, but so they may not even get past the playoffs. No, but if an offer like that comes in, I don't think they're going to take it. Not after the season they just had. Nah, they're building, they got, yeah, they're, on yeah. the, they're on the come up. Yeah, like, they're on their way up. When you're on your way up, you're not going to sell one of your prized assets. You're not yeah. going to sell your captain. Facts. So, obviously, you're a main United fan, though, isn't it? So, yeah. it's like, do you actually really want that from Rest? As good as he is, do you actually really want it? Like I said, you do have Fred there, who scored, a, scored Fred, today, then he's taken by, he's developing. Fred scored today, but you know what? There's been so many times where Fred's given away the ball in crucial positions, and you're looking at him like, what are you doing? Sometimes he looks like a secondary school kid that they've just pulled into the squad. Mm. Like, yo, just come bang, just come bang for us. Like, what about for United? Uh, <laughs> like, like, literally is what he looks like sometimes. Like, it's, like, he has three good games, but he'll have six bad ones. And if you want to win a title, everybody's got to be consistent in the I'll score. be real with you, I don't agree still. I feel like, Fred, when he first come, I'll be real with you, I get you. He was playing like he was in the in primary school, you know what I'm saying? With a sponge yeah. ball, just laying things <laughs> about. He was doing the mad thing, getting weights to him, left, right and centre. He had nothing to him, innit? Man didn't have no tech. You remember we were talking earlier about him having that tech and that Brazilian tech? He didn't have that. <laughs> he didn't come with none of that. No flair, nothing. He was like, come on, what's this guy really nah, bringing? But, you but know obviously, it when, it, sorry, sorry, when it took time, they give him time, he's developed yeah. now. He's, strength, he's got strength, in it? So he's got much better in that role in the Premier. He just had to adapt. That was all it was. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but you know what it is with Fred? When Fred makes errors, he's making big, crucial errors. Like, yeah, yeah. everyone notices. Like, everyone sees it. And most of the time, he's making errors and they lead to goals. Something significant happens when he's making yeah. errors. So people are noticing that. Like, he, he could be having a good game, etc. But then, a moment like that, people would just be on uh, Fred out, Fred out. Man, you know, you need to upgrade on Fred. I think he's, he's had the a game. rather good season. The Leicester game, the FA Cup. He's had, a, he's had an okay season. Man. I wouldn't say outstanding, but he's shown signs that he's a good player. But yeah, it was yeah. the Leicester game that showed, man, that like he can't do it for the whole season. Like He got the back pass from Maguire. I hear it's a back pass. You're not really too familiar in that section of the pitch. But you got to look behind you. And that's a problem with Fred. Fred doesn't look behind. He don't look to the side. He's just looking forward. And it's like, in natural, like something like a natural that's doing the underrun. Like, what do you think is going to happen? Like, you're not seeing a natural anywhere. Like, why not just try and pass it back to the goalkeeper? The man's finally seen a natural here and then decided to pass it back. The decision making is terrible. Whereas I feel like if you get Declan in, Declan's been under pressure. Like, Declan knows what it takes to win ugly. As well, Fred, I'm not saying that he doesn't have it in him, but mm -hmm. I feel like Declan's more consistent. Like Declan makes the England squad. I think he's made the England squad for quite a while. Like I think three, four occasions he's made the England squad. How many times has Fred made the Brazilian squad? Yeah, but come on, that's a different level. Let's be honest. <laughs> no, 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 Brazil no, 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 no,
West Ham played today, they won. They're back in the top four with Leicester lost. I think they was on 50, they were on 56 points. Yeah. Um, and everyone else is only a couple points behind them now. So I'll be real. I'm Liverpool. You know my thing, innit? Yeah. You're Man United. You man have basically secured set second, innit? So you're cover, all right. Cover. Just a quick one before we get into it. Just your prediction. Who's taking the, the, the third and fourth places? Chris, I'll go to you first. Man. I think Chelsea and Leicester. Like Chelsea and Leicester. But Don't even give me a reason. Just that. Chelsea, Chelsea Leicester, Leicester, yeah? Yeah. What are you saying, uh, Jay? It's a hard one. I think... I think Chelsea and West Ham. Mm. Oh, West Ham. Oh, I feel like West Ham, like they're having a sick season, but I don't feel like they got what it takes tactically and like quality wise to actually lock it down at third and fourth. I feel like something's going to happen between now and the end of the season where they're just not going to be able to lock it down. Like I feel like Antonio coming into the squad sometimes, scoring, not coming in. He's, Bowen. Uh, Bowen's nice. Antonio's injured, he is. isn't it? He hasn't yeah. got a groin injury, so he's, he might be out for an extended period of time. They've got Chelsea coming up. Now, be real, oh. I don't think they're beating Chelsea. I feel like West Ham, they're dropping out of this race. What have we got? Eight games left? Six, seven games left? Six, six I think. Six, I think. Six now? Mm. I think West Ham are dropping out of that. Although Jesse's firing, they got injuries. Not see their depth today. They had nah, like five players on the I'm bench that have never been in, I'm the, back in, in a West Premier League Ham. game. I'm, I'm, I'm back in West Ham. I think the motivation, the hunger, the way they're playing, they're scoring that three goal. They scored three goals again today. Oh. Look, like they, the, they're yeah, full but, of confidence. Have, yeah, but hear what? This is what they have. They've been recently. Yeah, obviously the little teams they can do it against. But when they come mm -hmm. against a Chelsea, when they've been a few weeks, like they've been going up big from the first half, and in the second half they played like Wolves last weekend. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, they went up like what two 0 or three 0 mm -hmm. and then they not, they they draw. They drew, they drew, get, they drew no, against they, Arsenal. They won. They won. And they Wolves, beat Wolves. But they just two. about one. Yeah, Wolves, come, Wolves were coming back. And you know what I'm saying? Wolves are coming back. Today, the same thing. Um, they started coming back as well. Leicester. So they scored two in it. Chelsea, and then scored twice. Like, so mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. West Ham, they can do against these teams. But when it comes to a Chelsea, Chelsea ain't there. Yeah, five, two. What did they, they win the other day? Five, they won like yeah, four, one. Exactly. Yesterday. They're not playing. They're not playing. When they come, they're coming out, they're not playing. Big teams. You know what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. And that's their top four, innit? They want that. They know that West Ham are in their way. They're coming out strong. I feel like Chelsea, like, they ripped, like, Chris Palace apart yesterday. Like, they didn't give Zaha time on the ball. Eze, did, Eze, Eze got basically no air time on the ball either. Like, it yeah, was let's, yeah, let's, be, let's be real, yeah. But playing against Chris Palace right now is playing against, like, kids, I bro. Think, I think we couldn't even them, win. Them, I yeah, know, but I'm the, Palace are one of them shaky teams, one of them bogey teams, where it's like, when they, when they want to come and play, they can do anyone yeah. on their day. Mm. But more time, you know what their mm. thing is, isn't it? They're going to come out, try get the ball to Zaha, try get the ball to Eze, and let them man do what they're doing. They don't really play as a team, innit? But when they do, it works. But that's the reason why they are where they are on the table, isn't but it? I feel like it's because they're manager, though. Like, I feel like... Yeah, nah, I think he's, he's, he's outdated. He's outdated. He's, he's outdated, off, but off milk. most definitely. He's, he's, off milk <laughs> bro, he's got tactics it. before World War II, yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, you know what you know, it is? I think they need to... Crystal Palace, they need to go in a different direction. A young manager. other teams, each, te each year, there's a promoted team coming and overtaking them. So they're getting further and further behind. And we've looked at Palace and we've never really seen them as a top eight, breaking into that top eight, breaking into that top 10. It's like the same thing every year. Like they're good away from home. They'll beat a few of the big boys yeah, away yeah. from home. But without Zaha, they're, they're, yeah, they're nothing. nothing. Yeah, and they're then nothing. most of the time it's like, you don't know what you're going to get I remember from like, Palace. I remember like last season, they played like, he was injured for a while and they played like nine games about him and couldn't score a goal. Yeah, they you look like me? a championship team. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. So, so, but hit what though? These men have gone mad. You man are just going to not include last season's champions like that. My team. Like the one that. hit wonders. You man, what? Uh, do, do, what do, 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 do you think you want to Bro, in the last, obviously not this year, but last calendar year, I think 2018 and 2019, they won the league, the Champions League, Super Cup. You know what I'm saying? The flipping Cadbury's Cup, everything, blood. That's you get me? We've done everything. Cup, you know what I'm saying? Making up cups now. Yeah, man. We've done everything. Everything. Making yeah, up We've done, done it, sir. Everything. And you're not going to try to my team like that. The one hit one. Dude. With Liverpool, yeah. the thing is, with Liverpool, for so long I had them, they will certainly make top four. They will certainly make top four. But they won today which was needed, and they finally ended that Anfield. Yeah, we had to score the ball in over yeah. 12 hours at Anfield. But yep. I, think, I, think it's, I think it's too much to do. I need to see them do it for a while longer. Because right now, my top four predictions, I think Chelsea and West Ham are sneaking in there. Cool. No. But, but, 
Go on, swear, swear. Yeah, now the reason why I say that is because Leicester, they still got a hard run in. So I don't yeah. see Leicester. You know what I mean? Yeah, Leicester staying. dropping. Leicester and then, dropping. And then, that's what I'm saying. And then remember and last, remember last well. season when Leicester yeah, just fell. Yeah, they're not the same thing. I think history, history repeating yeah, itself. Yeah, bro, them mm-hmm. man have got injuries right now, bro. Like, right now, I think that like, Leicester and West Ham's one point behind Leicester. Yeah, yeah. and the yeah. thing is, Leicester and still yeah, got, Leicester in third. They and still got to play some difficult teams. That's what I'm saying, still bro. Still got to play Chelsea, if I'm not mistaken, Tottenham and Man United. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Bro, and the thing is, yeah, them man got, look, what's his name? Ayose Perez out. Madders out. Harvey Barnes. You're saying Harvey Barnes Go out. All their, their, all their career players out. Uh, Vardy, Justin, Vardy, Justin James with, Vardy looked. With James Justin with his bro, name. Vardy he's looked. Been, he's at, been out. He looked, he looked isolated <laughs> today when I was watching them, man. And that's against West Ham. Not saying West Ham are there because look, look where they are right now. But he looked isolated in a sense, isn't it? Like, you're yeah. naturally playing. Their man are just licking shots at goal. But right with, now. With, no, with nothing. They're getting the ball out of the box, turning mm-hmm. and just shooting. I was like, what's going right on? Now, what's this? He's natural senior man, as they call him. He's the one doing the goods Uncle. for Leicester. Uncle Nutty and Yeah, yeah like, he's the one doing the goods. So if they were to get top four, you have to look at the form of Ian Nacho and what he's been doing for them. But just because, imagine, just imagine, Ian Nacho on the counter attack. Wait, so imagine Ian Nacho on the counter attack. I want you guys to envision it. Ian Nacho on the counter attack, the ball goes off, like the ball just goes out. He rolls his ankle, injured, out for eight <laughs> yeah, You know what that man like to go. You know that man there with the biscuit bones. You know that man there, fam. Roll the ankle, ah, ah, ah. Stretch out, all that and that man's gone, four he's months. He's gone, let's you know be saying? done. But Done. let me get back to my team, innit? Because you might think you're gonna rule out my team. You need to stop with that there, that bad energy. Take that bad energy far away, you know what I'm saying, fam? But here what? Trent, best right back in the world. Andrew Robertson, best left back in the world. Alisson, best goalkeeper in the world. Man, Henderson's injured, innit? Man, best man, in the world. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me put Thiago, best in the field in the world, along with Henderson and, and, and Fabinho. Best, best partnership in the world. And this one looks like he's one Salah. Guinness punch away from being an uncle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me land, let me land. Salah, uh, I'm gonna lie, I can't even back Salah. My man can't even kick the ball properly, innit? <laughs> Firmino, boy, that's my wait, brother. Wait, wait, I'm everyone. Firmino, all people wait, wait. that enjoy, you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you say about Salah? What did you say about Salah? My man can't kick the ball properly, blood. Um, wait, 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 the guy's been your best player this season. He, he hasn't been our best player. Oh, no, and he you hasn't been our best player. Well, he hasn't. It's shot on. Has, shot has, 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 no, he hasn't been injured. Look, 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 look at Salah. As in, like, I wouldn't see he being on as fire, goal, fire. As a, a goal scorer. But he's been getting the goals. Well, yeah, but no. Like, he's been getting, but no, he's been because this is probably his worst scoring output since he's been at Liverpool. I don't know how you might have got a goal shot on him. Hold on, I'm going to get to him. Liverpool are still relevant right now. Manchester is still relevant. They're not relevant. You're in my team like that. You're in my team right now in the top four Team, yeah, that like because you, of Salah. See, you see that guy in football. We all had that guy when we used to play football who would score two bangers and just and keep screaming end. about it. <laughs> keep screaming about it. man's washed up now. Man's wearing the boots from 2010. Uh, like man's bro. got the pot belly now. Everything yeah, bold him. him. Me out though, but still yeah. screams he's the best player. Hear me out though, yeah. I hear what you're saying about Salah. Innit? Don't get me wrong. Like trust me, my other boys know. When I'm watching Salah, bro, I I scream when he scores goals. I love him when he's scoring goals. But everything else, yeah, I think he's just terrible, isn't it? He's got no first touch. Man's played football every single day of his life. He's got no first touch. <laughs> you, you see, bro, you see what I'm saying? He's got no first touch. Come on, touch man. Even the boy he's going to Ramadan during the week, yeah? Mm-hmm. The ball just landed in between his legs and then it dropped in front of him and all he had to do was lick it in the back of the net. Wow. But touch. let me let me get back to my mm-hmm. team. Firmino, baddest, bad, baddest man around in the fourth nine, but he's had a bad season. Yeah, he's had a bad season. I give him that, innit, yeah? But we can't get rid of him because he's, he's a serious, serious player. Mane is a serious player. Didn't didn't Messi himself say that he chose him first his first pick on his on the Ballon d'Or thing like last year? Bad boy. He said he should have won it. Bad man. Bad season as well. Everyone's having an off season. Obviously, no, it is. We just got a little hangover from the from the champ from the championship last season. It is. Them man there got a little bit too waved, didn't it? That's what it was. Man had a little uh. Henny and a little flipping Ciroc and a little Ray and nephew got it cracking. This, you get me? This, you think that Liverpool is like the worst type of holding? No, 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 season's not done yet. You can't Absolutely. say this se- until the season's done, then say that. Absolutely. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because it, bro, it can be comeback season. You don't know. You just comeback don't know. Comeback season? Where are you guys coming back to? Bro, we've got six games left to play. That's 18 points to pick up. And we got, think, we got, what? You think you're going to get 18? United. How, many, how many points do you think you're going to get? 18. 18. 18. <laughs> 18. 18. <laughs> 18. Oh, and I wonder why. 18. And I wonder why. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18
mean? Huh? I don't want to wipe under the seagulls. <laughs> but you're not getting away with 18, man. Bro. You can settle with eight points, he'll, but you're not getting though, yeah, Our fixture list isn't even like that still. you still got United. Like, I guarantee United's yeah. still going to give you a trouble. No, 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 no. We'll, United's we'll going to give you No, 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 trouble. we'll pop them. You know why? Because we'll need to win the game. They won't. There's so, a difference. So they, wait, wait, wait. They won't, so, they won't. So where do you see Liverpool finishing? Like, real this, be honest, be honest. Be it all honest. Depends, you know what it is? It all depends on the teams around us, isn't it? Because... <laughs> but, no, but surely if you know, as, 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 as we agreed on, Leicester are going to drop, slip their way down this table in the next couple of weeks. Chelsea, I feel like they're going to do a bit of a thing, and I think West, I feel like West Ham are going to drop some points as well soon. Come, yeah, that's true, that's true. So I feel like I ain't going to lie to you. In an in an ideal world, I'm looking at third, do not it? Because obviously I'm trying to I'm trying to miss them qualifiers for Champions League, innit? Yeah. But realistically, I'll be happy with fourth, innit? But because we had a bad season. If I saw the table thing the other day and it said yeah. from January, like from the turn of the year, Liverpool and points, yeah, this was before like the game we played yesterday and we won, was like 17. It was in the drop zone. It was the f- third from bottom in points. Your conversion rate in, was yeah, in terrible points one. Well. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and, but don't worry about that. We're back. Yeah. Obviously, we had a little... Little hoo ha in it in midweek against but Madrid. What's but your solution see? for like the defense though? Because the defense is like, even like against Oli Watkins yesterday, I could see Kabak was kind of shaking a little. Brother, do you not know how I just kind of evaded that one? Do you not see how I didn't go to the defenders? <laughs> you know what it is you know what it is with Liverpool? You know what it is? They're talk, they're talking like this, like this, like they're right now challenging Man City. That's how that's how mm. we're talking. Like so they're, they're pushing the ball. They're, 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 they're like hey, 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 listen, hey, hey. listen, listen, listen. I know you've had your fair share of injuries. Like the amount of injuries you've had. Like, yeah, at, at points in the season. Like you, you guys, you guys, you guys tell us every week about your injuries. Like we, we know. I even we know. Like, we know. Even, he comes well, on the TV like, like every day and just talks about the injuries, mate. Yeah, or, exactly. Yeah, but you tell us about your injuries. But what about the goal score? The lack of goal score at home in that yeah, game. Yeah, what, what, you know what? What, yeah. what about that? I because Van Dijk, he weren't playing. He weren't playing. Firmino is not your guy. He weren't playing up front. Firmino was sneaking out the drain. Pull out today, still. Listen, listen. Firmino was sneaking out the drain at times. People looking at this guy thinking, what's he got a number nine on his back for? Like. Just you know, you know took number because it was free, innit? Allow him, man. Hear what? Because you were number 11 nah, man, before. Nah, man, you need to go Hear what? Hear what? Hear what, though? I didn't want to take it with the man getting onto my defence and this and that. Let me be this honest, didn't it, and this real. Liverpool, yeah, and Klopp, they have a system, innit? And their system works, yeah, when everyone's there. You know what I'm saying? If you take one thing out of something that's really complete, and you know what I'm saying, yeah, obviously injury-wise, innit, this, this time round, then it's not gonna work properly, innit? it? You get me? Say like the camera, for instance, yeah. You take the the lens, one of the lenses off of it, you won't be able to zoom, innit? You uh, get what cool, I'm saying? So, say wait, City. so obviously, and then look at City though. You take one piece out of that puzzle, they just put another piece in that puzzle. No, you have no, to no, remember, and, and, yeah. and it gets and it's running smoothly again. Spending powers, City. No, no, we're not talking. No, 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 wait, 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 hold up, hold like, up. We're talking about personal wear. We're talking about personal wear. Yeah, but like, this but, no, but he's right though because them man have had the, the finance and the, and the back end. To okay, have two yeah, players no, no, they got to buy to no, buy money. Okay, 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 that's true. That's true. What we were chatting about this the other day, saying about City, the way that Pep does his thing because he's got such bad man sitting on the bench. Like Mares will will play one game or two games, bad it up, then sit on the bench for two games. The fact that he can rotate so much, it keeps the players happy, innit? So they don't mind it. Yeah, but you if you're, listen, if you're a great team, as much as you say you are, like a great team, you're talking about like you're the best Premier League champion so ever. You're, 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 listen, <laughs> listen, you're, you're talking like you're such a great you team, innit? <laughs> like, I don't know, I know you've had your fair share of injuries, innit? But Real Madrid the other day, when they played you, uh, they had lost Ram, they had lost Ramos. Now. Yeah, and they still, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they beat you. I hear you, bro. I and hear they you. And then they beat Barcelona yesterday about them two. You just, and they beat Barcelona. You bro. just have to hope here. Yeah, so, ho- so hold on. No, 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 yeah, so, no. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you've got you've, your fair share of centre backs missing, etc. Blah, blah, like, I don't know what it is with you guys. In, and in juice. Let me get my water. You're talking like you're a great team. You, these guys just want to go. Why is it when something happens, yeah? Why is it when something happens, it all falls apart? You're such a great team, you should be able to cope. You should be able to cope. You can't be like, oh. Oh, this guy's injured, this guy's injured, etc. 
like, oh, because I sent it back so injured. The recruitment we're, we're was poor at centre back. I'm not gonna lie, it was poor recruitment at centre back. Like they just said, no, Kabak, like Liverpool. Kabak was in a like, a, like, a, like he was in no, a relegation scrap. Yeah, yeah, bro. Philip Pizzi, yeah, yeah, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Honest truth is, they, they just had a bad blip all around the pitch. I know it's not even just a bad blip. My main thing is the finances, bro. I'm fam, it's yeah, like but obviously going, the Corona thing, isn't it? It's, it's not just market, fam. It's peak. Man, see, yeah. had all these players before you know, Corona. Fam, hear, what, what, hear, what, hear what? Hear what? Hear what? Hear what? Now, but hear what? That cab back before you move on. That cab back. I ain't gonna lie to you, suspect. I don't like him, innit? <laughs> Nat Phillips, though. Oh, he's on his, <laughs> he's on his thing. You get me? He's on his thing. When it comes okay. to him getting thrown down back there, he's nice. But he's just an aggressive one, innit? He can't play in it like that. And yeah. the runs, he doesn't spot all the runs as good as what he should. Obviously, he come from championship, innit? Championship's physical. So that's his thing, innit? But I'll be real, I don't even want to touch on the Liverpool defence because it, it's a touchy subject for me right <laughs> now, innit? And I'll be real, man be laying in bed and that, like, when I'm we're seeing goals, and I'm just like, how? Like, what is going on? You get me? So, but Real Madrid, I ain't going to lie to you, I underestimated Cruz and Modric, but Klopp done a mad thing mm. playing Keita mm. in the first place. No, but you know what, no, yeah. no, 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 he made Madrid a mistake. running on borrowed time, though. I feel like Madrid are running on borrowed time. No, but, them, the no, but see, them, them, no, no, them midfields are class. You see, like, like Scozzi, you see, like, Scozzi when he come back and it was just bossing things for yeah. Man United. Same thing like that, you feel me? Like, see, with Modric and Cruz, they're man not on the same thing. Like, bruv, them man can play. They don't need legs like that. Them man can play. What Modric's like, what, 35, 36 now? He's and Cruz is what? Yeah, yeah, he's at like 35 or 36, yeah, bro. Like he's getting on. He's and Cruz is there like 31 and yeah, yeah. Cruz is all right still, but them men don't need the legs. Them men are just straight ballers, innit? I underestimated yeah. them. But at the same time, if Thiago was starting, it wouldn't have been like that. The first half would not have been like that because he's a boss in there. Him and Fabinho that last weekend against Arsenal. I know it's Arsenal's a different... Sorry, bro. But I know it's a uh, different standard, isn't it? Like to Real Madrid and Arsenal, but like obviously him that that link up they had in that game was nuts. It was nuts. Everything so you 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 think you're saying if Thiago was started, it wouldn't have been like that. The game wouldn't have been like that. No, it wouldn't have been like that. So Thiago it was start, too open, fam. Thiago just sits in their pocket. I know you I know you I know you improved when I Thiago like came on. Trend, bro. I know you improved when Thiago came on, but Trent's defending. Yeah, no, but I'm not going to do the best of you. Because you're going to do the best of you. It's like asking the same thing. Keeps him in the front of the class. If you break Thiago's game down, if you break Thiago's game down properly, he will sit to more to the right side yeah, of, of the would. defense. It's something running. So he always sits in front of Trent more time, um, like throughout the start of the game, isn't it? So he plays around with Trent a lot. And he and he but and Char gets stuck in, isn't it? Yeah, so Vinicius and Mendy wouldn't have been running that Trent like that. I can't lie, Salah was not helping. Um, he was not getting Salah don't care about defending him, man. He just wants to stand with the weapon and hide what can. The thing is, thing is, is that, we can, we can see all that. Bro, that he's, we can, he's a dinch. We can have all the ifs and buts and oh, if this happened and Thiago is playing there, etc, etc. We just got to see in the second leg now. Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't think I don't think Klopp will make the same error putting K in the game. K ain't played a game in how long? Been injured. You want to bring him into Champions League, the most important game? It's Ramat. Yeah, exactly. But we have to wait for the second leg to see on that one. I feel like you know what? Yeah, you might not going out to Madrid because I feel like Zidane is such a he's the masterclass. Like he's the epitome of a master at Champions League. Like remember, like how many situations he's been in where they were down against Bayern, down against Atletico, and just came back and bossed it. But. Get no, out, man. I, no, I feel like it's true. No, no, that's true. But Get if out, you man. take out Ronaldo, yeah, take out Ronaldo from that equi- that like whole equation. Look at this one. He take still out managed Ronaldo to from the whole. You can't just be like take out Ronaldo from the hey, whole. Listen, no, but listen, he still that, listen, to listen. It, that's a debate for another day. Messi versus Ronaldo, Messi yeah. better. But you know, that's a debate for another day. And oh, let's no, just say this. So you're saying what? Top four or third and fourth? Because Man United wrapped up second, basically. So you're saying, were you saying Chelsea? I think it, I can't decide if it's Chelsea or West Ham in the order, but I know it's them two joining the Manchester clubs. Cool. In the top four. Cool. And you're saying? I'm saying Leicester and that West Ham, bro. No, Leicester and Chelsea, actually. Leicester and Chelsea. It's mad, fam. Where are you, man, really going to, where are you, man, actually think Liverpool are going to finish? Just your, just your, just your spot, like. Just your spot, just your spot. First day nights, <laughs> Europa <laughs> League. First day <laughs> nights, <laughs> Europa <laughs> League. Bro. First day. <laughs> let me, let me, let me land. That means we're going to be checking you, man, there, then. We ain't making... Oh. Oh, Arsenal, we're not making your belief. If you win the your belief, then you might. We're the Europa League, and you're the champion, man. Ain't it your first season back in Champions League? 
And then oh, you go out. Bro, did, like, did you man? Where did you man go in, in the in the group stages, or did bro, you make it out? Of, did you make it out of group stages? You know what? You're only. Ask the question. Oh, did you make it out of the group stages, fam? Only left his wall at home. You get me? Yeah, only left his wall. Only never had a wall, fam. Only never had a wall. So you only man getting on to my team. You remember my team won the nineteen. You know what I'm saying? 2019. Uh, we, we won the Champions You want against Tottenham. Okay, and the comeback Tottenham. is Barcelona. Anyway, another day, another day. You beat another... bottle jobs in the fan. Fuck this, I beat the world class <laughs> bottle jobs. No, but okay, cool. You, you, won, you, won, the, you won the Champions League. We won the Champions League. Uh, against cool. bottle jobs. Uh, uh, no, on, on, no, on, bro. Moving on. We done the mad thing. Against Trent, Kane Trent and the girls. We done the mad on Barca. Against Kane and the girls. Moving on. Kane and the girls. Remember that? Kane and the girls. Them man weren't ready for us. Let's be honest. Let's just be there. Different level. Let's just say levels to this. As we discussed about Arsenal and the Roman levels to this thing. You know what I mean? We're back soon, innit? We're back soon. But anyway, Two, moving years, on, bro. moving on, moving on. There's been a lot of other controversy in it, like this weekend. VAR. VAR. I hate this thing, bro. VAR, VAR, whatever you want, know, video assistant, ref, whatever you want to call it. Bogus. That's what I'm going to call it, innit? Oh. This thing's ruining football. I'll be real. I had to call my man the other day and I was just sitting in my bed with my bonnet on protecting my hair <laughs> and I was just wrapped up in my covers with my pillow like this and I was like, why? How? Why? The game's done. The game's done. <laughs> like, even today, the Tottenham game, yeah? So, no, no, was, no, 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 wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 I ain't talking about that, I ain't talking about we'll get into that, but I'm saying, um, the the Tomine goal that got disallowed, yeah. yeah. Anyway, at half time in the studio, then I was talking Roy Keane and Mark Richards. Mark Richards is Man City in it as well, mm-hmm. yeah. And he is Man City. He man, he don't he's not on Man United thing in it in favour of him at all. Them him and Roy Keane both agreed. Then Roy Keane said, if that's a foul and that's a disallowed goal, then we might as well pack up and all go home we'll now. Go home. It's the truth though, because it's like you know what I've seen more action in primary school football. Than I probably have in the Premier League. Like, there's more contact in primary school. That's football. what I'm saying. And there is in the Europa League. Like, McTominay literally put his hand out to distance himself because I feel like he could feel that somebody was close to him, and he just put his hand out to distance. And they're saying that that's like him slapping man in the face. And one thing that got on my nerves was the referee was just standing there like this, like, like he's just standing there looking at the sky, like, should I disallow it? Should I allow it? Nah, but like, and he's talking to the man. It's like, fam, fix up, fam. Like you're managing a Premier League game. Like you, have, you should have urgency. Nah, but and the, you... and they second guess themselves as well. And that's something that annoys me. Like you've let it go. It's a goal. Then VAR's come into it, and you're standing there like this. And I'm thinking, what is my? What is he trying to order dinner tonight? He's trying <laughs> to make up his mind for what he's eating to di- tonight hey. or something. So I just stand there like this, like, and it's, it's annoying. It's like, if you need to, if you think it should be this loud, go VAR, go to the computer screen, go check it. Don't just stand there and do this. And I feel like him allowing the Tottenham players to be around him was dumb as well. Like, nah, you're but, allowing the man to shout in your face and all of that, like, nah, but, get in your face. I hear you, yeah, but let's be honest, McTominay literally welcomed him to Happy Slap TV, fam. <laughs> you feel me? Like, no. bro, if you're, are you saying that's not a foul, though? I don't think it's a foul because McTom- 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 McTominay huh? didn't look back. He didn't look back. Nah, he didn't he knew slow he was down there, the you ball. Said, you said you felt him. You knew you was like you knew. Yeah, you could feel was somebody there. was there. But the thing is, you can't yeah. be waving, wagging your arms and doing all the man thing. Like, same man's McTom- in the thing dancing and that. What's Mate? he doing? He's dropping a skank. But the thing is, though, come on, bro. Same McTominay looked in back. The box on and no. What's he doing, fam? Well, no. Same McTominay looked back here and then did it. I'll be like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's that shouldn't be allowed. Or maybe he slowed down the ball, just stopped in general. But he's still running. You know, like, he's trying to distance. He's the main no, I, I can't lie. I think, it, I think it's harsh. I think it's harsh because we're basically saying this is a non-contact sport we're playing. Exactly. We're basically saying Social you can't, distance. you can't do this. If that was, listen, if that was anywhere else in the area, let's say, like not even the area in the in the game, I don't think it would be called back for a foul. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I don't think it would be something. You 100% know, hundred percent it would. I don't think it would be the goal. Hundred percent, yeah. I hear what you're saying in it because obviously it's the goal. That's why in it. Yeah, I hear what you're saying on that. But that's a foul, bro. If that happens on the pitch, obviously the referee didn't call it that time. But you see them given all the time. I think when you slap someone, and you know how players are, the players are soft in it. So when they get touched, yeah, they just drop to the floor and start holding their face and doing this. Like you know how football is right now, isn't yeah, it? But it's, um, but it's, it's ruining it's, the integrity of the game, though. Like when I look at like football, like even like before VAR came in. So we're talking seventeen, eighteen. It wasn't this bad though. Like man, are doing. Oh yeah. No. Even like, even like like as it obviously where there's no fans in the stadium right now, you can hear all the noise in it. Like with the microphones and that around the ground, and you hear like as it when he's been getting moved to recently. He gets moved to. Don't get me wrong, but Donny's screaming, you know. 
<laughs> he's on the floor rolling around screaming, screaming, Bro, screaming. Like, back, you get what I'm saying? Ankle, mm. face. Like, come on, man, no one even hit you, bro. Like, what are you doing? Mm. But back to the point. Bro, like, VAR is proper, proper messing up the game in it of football. The game that everyone loves, we all love, it's messing up the thing in it because, bro, like, man's out here trying to celebrate a goal. Like, me, if you know me, you know my thing, like, but I'm Liverpool hard, innit? So, when, when Liverpool score, I'm screaming, running around, muscles, screaming, sliding on the floor. <laughs> I'm doing the mad thing, innit? And then my goal's getting disallowed. Like, bro, even mean. like yesterday when, when we were chatting in our group chat and uh, Firmino's thing, he scored and he got disallowed. Oh. I was in the chat, like, I was all like, Bobby, blood clot, cold as you <laughs> like. You get me? Next thing <laughs> you know, man's in quite, I've been you know quiet in the chat. I want to be, be honest. When, I'm, when I was watching Champions League midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday nights, watching Champions League, and I'm just noticing VAR is used completely differently yeah, from yeah, yeah. In, them com- yeah, in, yeah. in Champions League and in Europa League. Like it doesn't disrupt the flow so much. You don't have moments where you're wait, celebrating. Wait, you, mean, you mean Premier League and Champions League or Euro- Champions League and Europa League? As in Champions League and Europa League. Like when it's <laughs> you. Oh, I thought we meant in the Prem. Oh, no, when it's you. Nah, when VAR. It's, used in the, it's, it's different in the Prem as well. Like, well, in yeah, the Prem, we VAR, proper way. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I see VAR that, used in like it. European competitions, let me just say yeah. European competitions, it looks a lot smoother, a lot more efficient. They're a lot more decisive. It's not like our. Oh, Ours in the Premier League were slowing down the like, flow. I feel like the refs are more like on yeah, they're in more terms decisive. of they're not allowing like people they're to more, get close to them. So I feel like they're more decisive. Yeah, allowing the players to get bare in your face and close to you. I feel like that is what sways the yeah, refs. We don't, we don't to need make to be decisions. like we don't need to be like oh referees. Every decision they're making, they're referring to VAR. But they do. We, we, we know, but we don't. Every single decision. Yeah. VAR. 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 Oh, look at like, VAR. Look at VAR. Come watch in the Champions League games, it's flowing. But smooth. I feel like we need the Going rugby smoothly. team though, because in rugby, the referees wear yeah. like microphones yeah, on them to climb and you can hear, hear the conversation. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I feel like that's what we need. We actually need to start hearing the conversations. And that's like American sports is the same, that like NBA and yeah. the NFL, they and do NFL, that. Oh, like, they'll like, they'll say like, oh, they yeah, foul, no, my yeah, man. They literally tell the crowd. Yeah, what, yeah. What they're doing. Like, what I can't. Like, yeah. For me, it's annoying. Like when you somebody scored, somebody's got fouled and the referees just there like, yeah, so um, referee's just waiting, and referee's and he's chatting just like, players like, as well. And he's like, he's like, you know, and, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, Gareth, Gareth Bell, I'm not, and Bell, I know like, you scored, but and, let and me go check. Wait for like two minutes yeah. in the in the microphone in your ear, and then it's like, hold on, going over to the monitor, monitor. No, it's like this. <laughs> yeah, you know they're not talking, not going on the head, and then they just turn around and then just like. And it's more annoying when they start moving the yeah, screen I mean, and doing the 3D thing. It's like, just make up your mind. Another thing, yeah, that we can they can touch base on as well is that, is like the, the offside rule. You know, like, tell me what the offside rule is right now. Tell me what the offside rule is right now. I don't even know, you know. I feel like I know, it, any- got changed, it got changed recently, innit? So tell me what is. I feel like if anything, even the hair, <laughs> your armpit is Bro, offside. I, um, who got called for offside the other day? Jota. When Liverpool scored, like, there was another one in there. They got done for VAR, yeah? Um, and... He, he's saying, I couldn't work out the lines that they was using Man, for the offside. Like, it was like the defenders, dude. it was like the defender's arm, but it was like Jota's, like, leg or something. It was his knee. Uh, his knee yeah, yeah, like, his, like his furthest point or something. And I was like, how does this even make... Oh, and then, sure. I don't know if it's me in it, but the angle they use on VAR, it's is so that even weird. correct? Because it's, it's from, a, it's from a, a certain angle. They use it's it not like, even, like, dead, dead on from the side. You get It's not from the side, so it's like... So What's going angle. on? The man do the 3D yeah, thing more. where like it's all like this and it's yeah, all like this. yeah, yeah. Offside, I don't even know. From really next season, know, when, when next season comes, they need to lay out some proper plan what? of what's going do you on. You know, it would be funny if the way the Premier League referees are using VAR. Imagine it's like this this summer for Euros. Do you understand how long it would be? I don't, I don't think any Premier League referees will be. Going they to shouldn't, and no, that's why Premier one, League man have one. Have one. Yeah, like you can only do it. Lucky. And your referee, you can only referee the Euros and the World Cup once, isn't it? Only, I think only like, I think Michael Oliver, that's our guy in it, that English guy, he does, yeah. he done, um, sorry, sorry, that's the Champions League, Champions League, yeah. Euros and stuff, you can only do it like one time as a ref. Well, what do you think about that Romanian referee that got like banned because he asked Harlan to sign like the thing? Yeah, that's mad. I think that signed the no, shirt. I mean, no, that was yeah, it, might, it was for the. It was for like autism or yeah, something. Yeah, it, it, it might be for good purposes, but you're thinking, right, right he's done that. Can we really trust him? No, but I feel like you're gonna can. be a bit biased or favourite. No, no. Yeah, but he's been. Good, no, I'm not questioning. It's a good deal that he's done, but it's like integrity of the game. Like you got a responsibility as a referee. Most but it's off of the game, but bro. It's off of the game. But you still, you still got a responsibility. 
But see, if you can't officiate anything after referee. they've blown like 90 minutes. Yeah, but listen, yeah, I know, but day, as in yeah. going, going forwards, he might referee Highland in the future and he might just favoritism. Yeah, but at the end of the day, yeah. That's a for good cause. Well, until I'm not, not favourite. Let me get on to that. At the end of the day, you gotta remember that referees are supporters of football at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like Man United, Howard Webb back in the day, man, bab, he was openly a Man United fan and he of was always so. refing Man United games for <laughs> Sir Alex. Of course. You feel man. me? So you, with the ref that thing, I think that's a bit harsh the way they try and, like put out their kind of like obviously it, you know what it was, is the fact that they lost in it the game. Because if they won the game, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know about it. It's the fact that they it's lost the game, and obviously, and the I think he said off. something, can it? Yeah. I think Holland, Holland went and complained about it himself, can it? Like, because, of, because they lost, didn't it? Cool, he's a competitor and that, but bro, man done it for a good cause. You ain't got to bring man down well, like that. It might it, be a, for a good cause, but it goes against his... Okay, but how would you feel, feel, yeah? Man, really how would you feel? You've been refereeing a game, players be getting your face for full 90, you're getting an earload from the manager. You've now summoned up the courage to ask this big superstar player, can I get your signature? And, and I guarantee you, yeah, he probably even said the cause. Well, you got, you got responsibility like, no, as yeah. a referee. You got responsibility as a referee. Yeah, but in the day, it's to... not minutes at all. Yeah, but, yeah, but to say, yeah, for the 90 minutes, no, but, okay, okay, but you go to work, yeah. You surely, you surely <laughs> must know to keep professional. Yeah, but if you go to yeah, work, yeah, you got, fun. imagine, okay, so you get to work, you've worked, you're leaving your workplace now. So you got to be professional at the bus stop. You got to be professional when you get on the bus. You got to be professional when you're on the train. Yeah, you, no, you got to be professional. Let, let me let me be real, yeah. If you got your work uniform on, then yeah, yeah. And in that case, of the surely, referee, he does, isn't it? Surely, he, 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 surely he must. Stuff, he so, yeah. must know that. He must know that. Like he must know. Ah, oh, I can't be asking players for autographs or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like he still did it in the stadium. Yeah, almost. Yeah, but players still stop shirts. Stop. But players stop shirts. That's that's different. Like. Man. Our managers come up to opposition That's players. That's different though, because their integrity of the game them. cannot be questioned because, and respecting the game cannot be questioned from swapping like, shirts. I feel like asking, like a referee You're a referee, asking, it's not that your easy. status is to officiate. And then you're out here signing, signing, or getting things signed or whatever. 90 minutes like, over, you, can't, like, you, can't, you should you can't. be able to do that. Like, right, cool. That, like your state, you, you have a state of authority. But what here. can you do? What can yeah, you do nah, after that? Referee. What's it gonna yeah, do? Nah, you're what, nah, you're booked. Nah, listen, 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 listen. Man, I, don't do question, I don't question his heart. Like it was for a good cause. It weren't to make profit, yeah. etc. For him, it weren't for his own personal gain, etc. Yeah. But like at the end of it, you're a referee. You're meant to have authority on a football field. Your authority can be undermined because of what you just. But you're in the did. tunnels, though. What, what more can you do? What you're gonna book him because he didn't give nah, you the shirt? It's one of the last time kids. What, what, what's the difference now? Exactly. exactly. You just exactly. been caught on camera. You just exactly. been caught on camera. It's because it's it's Dortmund lost. You just got caught on camera. Upset, isn't it? That's all it is. But let's stop with that because the man then will carry on about that all day. You know, so that like ain't getting nowhere. You know. <laughs> but just a quick round of review. So VAR, we saying we need, to da- we need to dash it. Scrap it. Scrap we need to dash it. Again. Nah, I still keep VAR. It's oh, just correct. Yo, it's just correct how they use VAR. I bet you vote. I bet you vote Lib them in it in general election. I don't even think they're a party anymore, man. Honestly, we've seen VAR used smoothly. Like we yeah, have. we've seen it, but it's not being used smoothly in the UK, though. Like, nah, okay, true. but we I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, listen, 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 listen. If they get rid of VAR right now, yeah. as of right now, there's no VAR. All we're gonna get is oh, VAR oh, would have won the pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. VAR would have done this. VAR would have done that. Let me keep and then it that, that controversy. Do you know, as really? time goes on, they will improve. I, I have faith. Well, not faith, but I believe they can listen, improve. Listen, listen. Since we've had VAR, what's listen, the improvement? Listen, I believe they can improve. In, in them two years, yeah, VAR caused man pain, games, and gain. You get me, yeah? Because Liverpool, in the season one of the title, we was getting bad decisions, VAR, for us. But obviously, <laughs> that, at the same like, time, VAR. this season has been a bit wild, <laughs> isn't it? Because we've been getting that in, you get me? So, in that sense, obviously, VAR, I don't mind. And you're saying no, no for it, scrap it. You're saying, keep obviously, it, just change it. it. I'm it, with you. I'm with you. It just needs changing. It, need, it needs working on, isn't it? Man, Can't man, run it, run it. Yep. Go, go work with UEFA, the FA work with UEFA, and work out how they do this, because their thing just pops. United could have won against shot, Chelsea, shot, shot. Sheffield listen, United. Listen, but, listen, listen, listen. listen. If, they, if, they, if, they can, if they can master, okay, it's, like, it's very different here. Like, very different. But goal line technology, that's coming. That's been smooth as ever. Yeah, but that's I, different. I, that's easy. That's, but different. that's, that's so much more with easy. With VAR, 
they, they can get to that stage, but everyone's still going to have different opinions on decisions and what but they see as Obviously, this and what somebody's got to win from the decision. Somebody's got to lose. But I feel but like I was, in the way it's been done, it's so stupid. I feel like... Like, yeah, Tammy... Okay, okay so you want to tell me the hudson Odoi handball against Man United wasn't a handball? No, but I'm not going to... Bro, not gonna be, man stretched his hand like... I don't know. Like, I know VAR has he caused... Was a couple, so it, he was a couple inches away from shaking listen, the ball's hand. Listen, it's he was made... He was a couple inches away from shaking the ball's hand. It's made now. There's been failed errors. But is that... VAR or is that the referees? That's the referees. Because the referee is going to the board. VAR He's position. watching this thing. Man, I'm telling him from the thing. No, Barry, you don't look like a handball from here, mate. Go on, go give, don't give the decision. Go on. Listen, don't, if, don't if we're seeing, if we're and we don't even know what they're saying listen, on the thing if as we're well. Seeing, if we're seeing VAR being used smoothly in football matches. But it, that's not I, in you. I know that is not in you. But we do you not believe we can get to that stage? We can, but do you know how long we it's going to okay. take? Well, right. and would you rather I wait? I that time, you know? <laughs> yeah, but if right. VAR gets scrapped, the first thing you're going to yeah. say is, oh, if we had VAR, I this would have happened. Look, look, you look, 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 it's not going anywhere for the near future. Let's, let me tell you that. Anyway, moving on. Man City lost yesterday to Leeds. Leeds us. Leeds are firing, isn't it? Don't get me wrong. They're a serious team. Yeah, managers got them got them right. But they lost yesterday 2-1 to lead 10 men. Like, come on, like, I think this is Man means. City. What, what is it? What do you, what, hold on. What do you, man, I'm going to go to you, JT, first. What do you reckon that's down to? The fact that they got complacent because they know the title was theirs, like they lost their hunger for it, or do you reckon it's the fact that they need to sign a striker because the lack of goals coming from the strikers has not really been there. Obviously, they say, like, Foden's been, Foden and Gundogan are, like, their top goal scorers yeah. this season, isn't it? Which are like what a midfielder and a winger and the Bruyne as so, well. So yeah, the Bruyne's coming back now. He's doing his thing, but what's your what are you saying? What is it for you? What the thing is for Man City, I don't look into the defeat too much. Uh, yes, there's been times this season where they've lost games, but they've not exactly been played off the park. Maybe against Leicester when they lost Leicester five two earlier on, but they're completely different sides since then. Man City still dominated the game yesterday. They had enough chances. They didn't take their chances but at the end of it man city this season they're not going to be judged on what they do in the premier league because yeah. we looked at them as wrapping up the premier league since what february yeah, yeah, yeah maybe yeah, even yeah. earlier january, february, was that exactly. no, late february so late man february, city yeah. man city are going to be judged on what they do in the champions league because that's, that's been what, the biggest yeah, hurdle for pep, them for pep yeah that's been the biggest hurdle so because he didn't win it he didn't win it back, no he yeah. didn't one month since, since Barcelona. Barcelona. yeah this is like this is a defeat don't get me wrong nobody was expecting it particularly yeah. when Leeds went down to, to 10, 10, 10 men to say yeah, man city will go and put this game to bed when they got the equalizer you were like we were chatting in it we were saying it's gonna be like three but at the end of it, at the end of it, when Man City lose, they they still have like twenty something shots on goal, yeah. this many chances, etc. Still playing, wow. that's breathtaking the, football. That's my thing, though. Having twenty shots on goal and you've only scored one goal with ten playing against ten men. But I don't know what, what is. is that? Yeah, it's is terrible. it a striker situation? No, I don't think it's a strike. I think it's the attitude. Like Man City no. do play with air of arrogance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, but you're allowed to. No, one but if they, yeah, yeah, of course, like, course, I'm, 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 I'm not against Man City playing with air of arrogance, but Man City play with air of arrogance, like. It could literally blow teams away five or six nil, but they're just in their gear, in first gear, cruising wow. almost. Get to like yesterday was another day they were just probably cruising, treating as a training drill. Then all of a sudden, Lisa did hit them with a smash and grab but against you know Run the Plate. Is, Chris, what you saying? It's Bielsa's pressing though. Like you know the thing is, yeah, with City, when City lose, it's not a they are that like, City were close to win it. City lose lose like City lose all the way when they lose. And it's like, even when you watch the United game, like the way they played, terrible. The way I mean, That was a bad performance. From that was a terrible performance. And it's like, with City, they lose by margins. And I feel like, as like T, as like T said it, like, bro, like they need a striker. 20 shots, but you only got one. Like you need a striker to come in and at least convert some of those 20 shots. Three goals. Obviously a hat-trick is kind of hard in the Premier League, especially banging consistently, but at least two goals. Like, I think, no, I think... Because I feel they with the right striker. striker, with a striker, even if they played Aguero, I feel like it, the result could have been different. But remember, Bielsa's pressing. Like, Bielsa, the way he pre gets teams to press, it's dangerous. Like, it's consistent pressure. Yeah, yeah they, they need, need, they need a striker. They need a striker. I'm saying they need a deadly as well. Like, you can't press a United properly. You can't press United properly 
Because United have players that are just quick. Yeah, you got Rashford. So you can always get in behind. Rashford can't But when you press. But when you but, but with Pielsa, the way Pielsa presses, it's just crazy. Yeah, but the like, thing is, for Man City, I think it's more complex. Like them, you can say they need a strike, etc., to replace yeah. a grow. Obviously, I don't. And Stanley's decision making yesterday listen, was terrible. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, doubt. He could, he could have squared it though. No, but listen, let's, I don't doubt. Man City are going to get a great striker. season. He had a quiet season in it, so it's average. Not so, yeah, he's had a quiet season, man. Like don't get me wrong, Sterling is a bad man in it. Yeah, I think he's cold, but. This season, he hasn't really done much, in it? Like, I'm mean, Phil, Phil Ferdinand was top goal scorer in that year, and, and Gundogan for what, how long? You know what I'm saying? How many goals has Sterling really scored this season? He scored 10 goals this season. Ten. So, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, for him, and what, last season he scored, what, 20 something goals last season? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying Man City mm-hmm. losing yesterday. It's, they, 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 they might it's need a striker, but I think it's more down to complacency. I like, if Man City that. do not go far in the Champions League, get to the latter stages, or advance far in the Champions League, or B, because they don't take their chances, because they're not going into like gear two in games. They're just cruising around, like treating it like a walk in the park. Like, yes, they need, yes, they need a striker. And I don't yeah. doubt that they're going to get a striker yeah. and flex their financial wealth. But yesterday, I think it's more down to complacency. But here, what though? And then Leeds just. Here, what? Leeds, Leeds how bad like, I give credit to Leeds. Yeah. I won't take anything away from Leeds because they hung in there, dug deep, showed great character, etc. And then they were still having people running through and making runs and getting forward when they could. But I genuinely think Man City losing yesterday was down to their complacency more than anything. Hear, hear, what, hear this though, yeah. I hear what you're saying still. I, I feel like you're right. Yeah, yeah, obviously something we all agree on. That it was the down to complacency. Leeds, they didn't expect Leeds to play, carry on playing the way they played even when it down to 10 minutes. They were still, yeah, Dallas done his thing. Like Rafinha, bad man. Bad man, isn't it? Yeah, I think you were saying yeah. like another Mario you said. Yeah, Mario. He is. And he, he, the thing is, he could go Man City and fit in the team just having for Mars fits in. You know yeah, I would, I would say he's on Mars' it's level, obviously. Yeah. But he's, he's, as he's in, like, nice, he, he, he gives me he's he gives nice, Mars' nice. vibes. Yeah, but yeah, come on, nice. like, this, Mars has been doing his thing for a while. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, is nice, man. Uh, but if, man, look, if Man City, obviously, Aguero's leaving at the end of the season, that's the thing. Yeah. That's all no news now, it's a fact. Pep's playing mind games with, with everyone. No, saying about, buying. saying about, but you, you can't replace Aguero. Um, we can't afford another striker like at the top class level. Then he said, "Don't be surprised if you buy a top class striker in the summer. Who's it gonna be? Because they are gonna get a striker. You know what, yeah. So who are they gonna buy?" I feel like City have been too. They've been too patient with Jesus, and I think it's with Jesus. Like they've been way too patient. He's not a leading striker. He's just it? not the leading he's, striker. He's a come off the bench and impact. He's a world nice, class. But... He's a world class like substitute, substitute striker. Yeah, 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 like, he's yeah. not the full no, guy. I think, he, I think people are being harsh on him. I feel like the best person to go for. Obviously, we all want the Haaland. Like Haaland is who we're all gagging for, but it's likelihood of that happening kind of small. I nah, but if anyway of, he's gonna go up, it's probably the chance is probably gonna be there. Probably see, or maybe Madrid. I'm reading like me and Raiola's trying to get him a mil a year. Yeah, yeah. Like a yeah, mil yeah, yeah, like yeah, a mil in wages. A mil, a mil, a mil a week a in week, wages. You know, like, he's trying to get him those wages. But I feel like City, like their whole transfer philosophy, that's not the way they go though. City don't do the hundred mil. They see, oh, your release cost is sixty million in the next season. We're gonna wait for that, and we'll come and grab you. Nah, that's yeah. not. I don't know because, bro, when when they when when they saw they don't spend like hundred nah, mil. That's no, because no, that's because no, no player, no player, no no player. No, no player like, yeah, like, you gotta you. remember they spent how much for Laporte? Sixty mil for Laporte. Yeah. You get me? So they're buying players for big peas, you know. They are. They're buying smart, bro. If he's looked at their spending over the last like what was it, couple of years or something. It yeah. was like a couple of billion they spent, didn't it? That's almost the takeover. But it's small, they spent small, like two, three billion. It's like small, small bits. They're not breaking the world transfer. What's right? what's small about billion, man? Hold up, hold up, hold up. You don't hear me, billion, dog. You know what it is, Man City. Yeah, like I think people do get onto his use a lot. Because when you look at him, he's only t- he's only twenty three years old. That's rather young for a striker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. He's mainly had a bench role in his time there. Mm. He's been getting goals. He's been coming off the bench most of the time, impacting games, changing games, and he's still young for a striker. Of course. Yeah, but like he's he's, he's experienced. But how long he's been are around. you going to be patient but what, with what, him? But people what? strikers don't really go into their prime at this age. Nah, no, of course. Like you're, you're a prime for a, stri- a striker has his best years like between like twenty, like like twenty six to thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like those are the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking. But, all this Jesus saying, re- yeah, Jesus might not be ready. Well, would you put it down to the coach? The what, thing is, what Chris is saying though is that Jesus is nice, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, he's nice, but he, like he's a good sub, isn't it? I don't think yeah, as for Man City, he's ever gonna lead their line, isn't it? Like that, he's, he's nice. Crazy. I like, I, I love um, Jesus. I think he's nice, isn't it? But 
I just don't think he's the, the striker they need to lead their line. To come off the bench and get you a goal here and there and get you 15 goals from the bench, he'll do that. But you get me? You're but comparing that because you're seeing probably of what you're seeing from Aguero over the years. It's not just that, bro, but like, would but you nah, put that kind of form down to coaching? Because Pep's worked with Lewandowski, he's worked with Messi, he's worked with, like, I think, um, what's his name? Oh, he's worked with Ibrahimovic. Yeah, yeah. Those people that are prolific goal scorers, but, like, what is it with Jesus? Do you not he's think in training... To, it? That's but do you not think he... in training that Guardiola's not, like, talking to him like, right, like, this is what Messi would have done in that situation. That's what, like... Nah, he, like, I don't like, think he does that. He can't... He, I don't think he compares... Compare. Them, I don't think he compares... I don't players. think he compares... He compare. like, he, he play, he's played different, but he's, he's 23 years old. That's that, is still, that, that, that is still age, young for a striker. There needs to be consistency because, you know what, yeah... I put him in the same box as Martial, like, they're just no, no, not nah, it. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I don't agree let with that. Lie, yeah. box, like, like, let me not lie, yeah. Let me not lie. I understand why you're saying that, innit? I do understand why you're saying that, but Gabriel Jesus has got a better thing going for him at Man City than what Martial does at Man United. But Man, Man, Martial looks like he could be on his way out in the summer. If He should, no, no, no. Be, like, look, the camera's looking at me, yeah? Get him out of the club. Don't do not do that, Oli. Don't do that. You know don't Marshall's do that, You know Marshall's only brother. like 24 years old, It don't it? matter. Don't be that brother. Like, all he's done since he's come to England is sex up two, gal, and that's literally been it. Like, he's not done much. That's quite... Like, what is this guy done? So, so cool. Mason saying, Greenwood's so, going to take his place. So wait, I guarantee hold on. that. Back to Man City striking solution, yeah. though. What, what are you saying? Who should they bring in, then? So you're saying... Well, you're saying they should just... No, I'm not just, saying they should keep... Just keep let his use, but I'm I'm saying not keep him, but develop him. No, no, they, they, I'm not saying they should just keep yeah. his use and put him as their main man, etc. Because he's already got number nine on his back or whatever. But I'm saying he's not as bad as people make him out to be. Like let's say they don't go sign a striker and you still got his use as your main striker. Like, is his use like, is his use gonna win you a Champions League though? He's gonna win as, your, as your number nine. Well, they didn't win the Champions League with Aguero there. Yeah. Like, I'm, not, I'm not dissing Aguero here. Oh, yeah, but oh, I'm, not oh. really, I'm not dissing but, Aguero. But Aguero but they didn't win the Champions League with Aguero. Like, 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 yeah, I know Aguero is yeah, done. He's one of the best strikers yeah, but, ever in the Premier League. Yeah, but that's the but thing. But they didn't win the yeah, Champions League yeah, with yeah, him. So to put that pressure on Jesus, you can't put that pressure on Jesus. He got them a Premier League. Yeah, but wait, wait. But that's the reason. I know Aguero done. I know he matched That's the reason why Aguero has been frozen out practically. Now, what is he like 30, isn't it? Going, he's touching no, 30, he's, 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 he's in his 30s. Yeah, but he's, 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 he's done injury. everything he can for the club. He can't get them a Champions League. That's why he's on his way out. No, so but this, can. Is, this is injury issues. But like, he, he can't get them a Champions goal. League. So who can? But it's not just, you can't just say, oh, a girl is the reason why. No, I'm not saying he's the, not saying he's the reason. But they didn't do it him. He's got on now, isn't he? His time's done at Man City. A girl's out of the picture. I think it's a mental thing why they haven't done well in Champions League. But how but I look far, at Man City. But like you've got one of the best managers of in football history as your manager. Yeah, but I how think, are you I, think not? I think it's generally more of a mental aspect why they don't do well in Champions League. But the thing is though, what more do you need? You've got they've got like about four, five centre backs. They've got about three, two, like full backs. They've got abundance in wingers, midfielders. Yeah. Like what more do you, do you need? Know, it's the experience yeah. of doing it before. You've like, got a man with experience. Have, no, no, but they have Oli's not winning the Champions League. We can say, you know what, Oli's not got experience. No, Go, but that in that terms of success. But with Pep here, come on, he's won Champions League. He's won cups. Like what more do you need? They don't have the experience of what it takes to win the Champions League. Like you see Real Madrid, like everyone's writing Real Madrid off again, going into Liverpool. But then Real Madrid go and beat Liverpool in the first leg. Okay, still got a second leg to play. But Real Madrid have got that experience. They've got two guys, Modric, Cruz, have done this before. They know what it takes to win the Champions League. Man City ain't got that with guys in their team. They ain't got guys who have won a Champions League for them before, know what it takes sort of thing. Like, they haven't. But like, even, they haven't. But even at that, yeah. They haven't been to a Champions like, League final, what? like, since. Okay, but PSG never went to a Champions League final before in their history, before last season. And got there though, so it's like. And, and, more, and, and did, did they win? Did they win? They didn't win, but did at they least win? they got there. See, that was a mental aspect. PSG not. That's what but I think. What more do City need? Like, how much more money do you need to pump into right, that cool. squad? So, it's not, I don't think it's the squad. I'm saying, I'm saying it's a mental thing. Why they you, haven't done if it? If you want to look at the men, they don't have to know what it is. I don't think they have the, the, the mentality because the way City play is complacent at times. Okay. Very complacent. But in, in Champions League, you can't you can't be complacent. Okay. You'll get punished. But that's the thing, though. If yeah. there's one place you should not be complacent, it's the Champions League. Yeah, but Man City, so Man City have, a, Man City have an arrogant style about them. Like we saw the match against Dortmund the other day. They only won two one, and literally they could have put. Certainly, the game, you should have been two two, but 
Yeah, yeah, that's yeah okay, okay. okay. We're, 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 we're not going to mention the goal in it, but the chance you can't tell me the chances Man City had, they couldn't have put the game City to bed. City have in the first chance off the chance, but yeah, even but when they had a goal, I'm bro, saying like, there is complacency. You can't be complacent in the Champions okay, League. Okay, but how do you change that mentality then from them? Like, what is it you're going to do to change that? Because it's like you got Pep, you got serial winners in that squad. And you're still not getting to the Champions League. Right, cool. Mendy's won the World Cup, for God's sake. Yeah, like, but, Mendy, no, yeah, but Mendy's a joke, man. He was there for vibes, bro. Come on, you can't tell me. You can't tell me. You can't tell me. Mendy's won the World Cup. Oh, oh, you can't link me. You can't link me. It's okay, cool. Regardless of what you're saying about the mentality in that, yeah? If you could bring in a strike if you're Man City, then who are you bringing in? I'm going out and getting Highland. That's. That's what I'm doing if I'm Man City. Yeah, so man's gonna try and get an Mbappe still. I'll try and get Mbappe and just place him like up front. Or Messi and tell Messi to do his thing up front. So I feel like Messi could still do it. Grab you a 20 goal. That would season. work. That would work. Obviously, to wrap this up, I'll give my opinion. The man might as well just say Liverpool front three and they might win. But, um. <laughs> That's a funny yeah. yeah. Obviously, they've done it before. You get me? You also have mentality. Them men have done um, it. They've been there. They know what it is. <laughs> Two years in a row. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, Finalists and then won it. You get me? Back to back. Because Hayes, you should be ahead no, of no, 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 no. Like he is from Brazil. No, 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 no. Chill. Firmino is that guy from Brazil. Fabinho, Fabinho, all of them were there. You get Fernandinho me? is ahead of Fabinho as well. Listen, so, listen. But you yeah. know, like, but you know, like, Mane, is Mane making it in front of Sterling, though? Mane better than Sterling. Sterling terrible, too, man. Compared to him, Bro, he got five runs He ran. Yeah, a lot. You know, you know what it is? Because Sterling left you, man. No, no, like, no. Really but let's be real, yeah. Sterling runs like a monster. Yeah, but Liverpool fans. Sterling runs like a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that, but Liverpool, Liverpool fans hate on Sterling because he left them. No, but in all honesty, yeah, let's not act like Sterling's decision making is amazing. Like, Listen, it's really not. Sterling's uh, not. I, I, Sterling. I don't feel. It's terrible, bro. I don't terrible. feel like right slandering Sterling because you can't. Bro, like this season, bro. he hasn't been at his best. Had the chance elite. to drag it back and make it two two yesterday. What did he do? Look, forget Sterling. He's gonna win another. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're He's saying. Listen, you're one. saying. Look, look, you're saying Man City to wrap this up. You're saying Holland, which is doable for them. You're saying Mbappe, which could be doable. Who knows? Where, it's all preference where the player wants to go. We'll see what happens in it in the near future. That's it for today, guys. This is Bench View Sport Podcast. I've been Tyler been Christopher I'm JT we look forward to seeing you again hope you like the video please like and subscribe peace out man <laughs> <laughs>